Welcome to Crimson Guitars and welcome to a mini tutorial. This is where I'm going to take you through, it can be anything, small, short video, little bit of a tutorial, a little bit of a hands-on showing you something of interest. Today is a very basic thing that you need to know and you need to use across the board, guitar building, wood, general woodworking, it is of incredible use and as such is very often overlooked by people and that is the the concept of cut to cut and uh, if you've watched my inlay videos you would have seen that before and that is the perfect segue into a little bit of a footage and some voiceover uh, on some inlay work haha <laughs> there we go segue now segue now Well, here we are. So this is a fairly basic uh, little inlay. And, uh, well, large inlay made of very, very basic pieces, which is pretty much what any inlay is. And uh, the process is you cut out the piece that you want to insert into the guitar body in this case, and then very carefully mark around it with a sharp knife. And uh, once you've done that, mark in again, create the, make the cuts even deeper, and then this is where the cut to cut comes in. Uh, in this particular case, I'm using, I think I've just sped this footage up, uh, I'm using a double bevel chisel, and uh, I go in from the side to the bottom of the scalpel blade cut, and it gives us a very, very clean, uh, very precise edge. Now, same process here with an inlay chisel, and uh, go in, double check, put the piece of inlay in, and uh, eventually you end up with something that fits, more or less. Uh, now, if I was just trying to cut out without scoring the outline with the scalpel, uh, it would the, the wood would tear and we would have a nasty mess and this also works uh, and is very important to do when using a router rather than a chisel so if I'm doing inlay work with the Dremel I will score the line score the outline and then bring the Dremel cutter uh, right up to the line and it creates a little bit of a fur and uh, precision really And this is uh, what we're talking about. However, this process is absolutely essential in all sorts of woodwork. This here is a very, very basic joint. Uh, it's gonna end up being a, a half lap, which doesn't have very much structural integrity, actually. But uh, what I'm doing is using a, a, a marking gauge to uh, scratch out where I want my line to finish. Now, very close to one of those lines, I use the saw. That was, that was insanely fast. Uh, and this is actually my first, first cut, really. And then I don't have to be very precise. I've got scored lines on three sides and a saw cut on the third on the fourth and uh, as a result the chisel is just taking away the excess did you see how that broke almost perfectly at my cut I should have taken that from the other side to be honest I uh, if my cut hadn't been quite that deep that would have been catastrophic I could have lost part of my work so poor poor showing there then uh, anyway, I'm removing a lot of material rapidly and with precision. Now here we see that I've come to the limits of my saw cut. And push that down and get the saw out again. It's a, it's a fairly basic, it is a very, very basic process, but it's something that you have to think about a lot. 
if you want precision, and as guitar builders we really, really do, then uh, this is the way to do it. Uh, cut to cut, make sure you've got clean, sharp lines marked into your work, and everything will go easier for you. Thank you for watching.